Hello and welcome to the first episode of my second F124 career mode series. This one's going to be um, a Lando Norris, oh you probably already know from the thumbnail, but it's going to be a Lando Norris Road to the World Drivers Championship series and it's just going to go on until I win in the World Drivers Championship basically. Um, the constructors will just be a bonus, you know. But yeah, my goal in this series to get Lando Norris to be a world champion Maybe end up at Red Bull because, well, I've probably had the highest chance winning there. But I'm not too sure. We'll have to see how the first season goes. Because McLaren are the fourth best team. I mean, if they update it, they'll be the third best. But here for um, the target, um, target for the contract negotiation, they recommend 90. But I put mine to 91. I can probably do better than 91. I probably end up will be doing better than 91. Especially with Lando in the McLaren. Fast car, fast driver. So he should be able to do it. Only 16 race calendar. Races are a bit short. I'm doing the 25% races. Because I guess I just want to do this career mode a little bit quicker than my driver one. So just like see if I can get him a World Drivers Championship and like do other seasons quicker. And as you saw, um, I have done, I think, one or two upgrades for the car and with a few of them i think will be with us for the australian grand prix which is the first round on this career mode and as you see there we do get one of the upgrades for um the australian grand prix we do have another one for the spark plugs and we i do just get that front wing wing one which will be with us for the round two i believe we also get the spark plug upgrade so the car should be better, but here we go for the first race. The long wait is over. This is it, a brand new season. And before the show gets well and truly underway, we've got the all-important matter of a free practice session. It's great to be back. So much unknown before we get underway. So what will be going through the drivers' minds as they get ready for the new season? The faster you can work around the circuit conditions and get the car tailored to your liking, the better. And then you can just focus on the job in hand in terms of lap times. But first of all, you've got to get the car feeling right. So here we are in free practice, just trying to get used to the car, because to be honest, it is quite different to the kick salva in my other career. It's a lot more, I mean, I guess it's just quicker and feels nicer when you go for going through the corners than the, the kick salva. So definitely you're gonna have to get used to a faster, more accurate car. I guess you, it's just more direct, especially when you're turning in like slower corners, even though in real life it's meant to be like a bit slower in slower corners, but it just feels better than the alpha, or not alpha, the kick salva. So yeah, it's really um, using this practice session to get up to grips with the car. Um, I do do all three practice sessions and just trying to get as many resource points as I can at the same time as trying to get used to the car. Now at the end of uh, free practice, we have 250 out of the 300 resource points. I have done all three practice sessions and we have uh, gone second fastest in practice but now we go for qualifying welcome everybody we're here in the heart of melbourne it's albert park and it's qualifying for the australian grand prix it is only short qualifying so um i'll probably just end up being doing two laps one at the beginning one at the end but coming out on my first lap i'm expecting top five like i'm quite confident at australia it's a track that i do enjoy driving and um, but as we come to the end of the lap, it felt quite strong. A few mistakes, a few minor mistakes, nothing too big. But we do go second fastest, a tenth behind Max Verstappen. So we do do another lap at the end of qualifying, and we improve by seven tenths. And it's P two, so it is ends up being P two for the race, which, if you ask me, is quite good. Piastri P seven ended up being one and a half tenths slower than Max Verstappen, so. He's definitely going to be our main rival, I guess, for this driver championship because, well, he, he's just fast. He always was going to be. But here we go for the race. Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship.
The Melbourne circuit is certainly one that needs to be taken seriously. It's a combination of slippery surfaces and difficult corners, making it a very tricky track when it comes to overtaking. Drivers find it hard to pass and will need to take full advantage of those DRS zones if they want to have any hope of breaking through. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lando Norris lines up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Perez, Fernando Alonso, Leclerc, Sainz, Oscar Piastri, Stroll, Hamilton, Albon, Russell, Joe, Bottas, Gasly, Sonoda, Ocon, Sargent, Holkenberg, Magnussen, and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. So for the strategy here, we're probably going to opt for the one stop here, mediums, hards. I don't know if I might swap it for hards, mediums, but either way, it's going to be the one stop. Um, I just think it's probably the faster stop. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with the mediums, hards. But as we go to the grid here now, the starting lights do come on. And as you go to five red lights, it's lights out and away we go. Not the best start for us here. Max Stappen getting a great start. And the car behind us, I think Fernando Alonso getting a great start as well. Perez getting a great start going in front of us as we leave two places off the start. We do kind of go side by side here with Fernando Alonso. And we just um, stay behind him there. As we drop down to P4 on the start, we try and go round the outside of, of Fernando Alonso here, trying to regain that P3. We do try and stay down the inside. We give him the room and stay side by side, but he does back out, which helps us get up into P3. Lap six here now, Fernando Alonso right behind us with the DRS. Maybe looking to make a move on us here. Also, Piastri trying to get involved, but Alonso does back out. At the end of lap six now, Fernando Alonso behind us with the DRS on the main straight. We're looking to go off our inside, going to turn one. Again, we leave from the space, we go side by side, but he does back out again. So we do just manage to hold the position. We're lap seven here now, we do need to pit this up. And let's lose the rear on the corner just before the pit entry. I lose the rear, so you can definitely tell it's time to swap the tyres over. But as we come into the pits, um, hoping for a quick stop here, as uh, maybe we do hold up the staff and, and there is an issue with the pit stop, which maybe has just thrown away our entire chance of getting a podium now. That would have completely ruined our race. Albans jumped us. Hamilton's jumped us. A few other cars, I think, have also jumped us. But that was not a good pit stop. And to be honest, I think that might be our chances of a podium out the window. Towards the end of lap eight here now, I'm really putting my foot down, trying to gain those positions that I did lose in the pit stop phase. As the other cars start to pit, we are currently P9 as we get really close to the back of Albon here, but with the DRS and probably using a bit of our battery, maybe trying to look to make an overtake on Albon, diving down the inside, just making sure not to get too close to Russell as he does try and stick around the inside of us. We do manage to make the overtake stick. But now, following up out of the next few corners, we do get right up the rear of Russell in the next DRS zone, maybe trying to make a move on him and move up into P7. These places that we desperately need to make up, especially with our poor pit stop. So I try and maybe go around the outside of him there. He leaves the space and he backs out, which helps me get up into P7, trying to work my way back up into that P3 position. On lap 11 here now, getting a bit closer to Russell's teammate, Lewis Hamilton, with the DRS, using our battery as well, maybe trying to get down around the outside, going into the next corner here. As I try and outbreak him, I leave him the space, he comes back at us there. We try and stay round the outside and we just make it to the inside into the next corner. We do manage to move up into P6. Lap 12 here now, maybe looking to make a move on my teammate. Try and maybe not to be too aggressive here, don't want to cause us both to crash out. But I do try and go down the inside and he does let me through. But I do go wide there and completely lose the car. Somehow managing to hold it on the track. But I do lose the car there on the rear. Somehow managing to keep it going. But I do manage to hold off both um, my teammate and Alonso here, who gets very close to overtaking me. I feel I make slight contact with my teammate there, but luckily nothing too severe. Lap 13 now, just Charles Leclerc holding me up before I get back to my P3 position, back on the podium. With no DRS to help him and using a bit of our batch, we do get 
past him very easy. I do dip a tire in the grass there, but nothing too much. And we do manage to overtake him quite easily here. But on the end of that lap here now, he gets a DRS, maybe looks to make a move off our inside here now. And he does get back through, but with a DRS again now here, I'm gonna have to burn my battery, try and make sure I stay with him. But I don't, uh, with the slipstream, somehow he goes defensive, but somehow I uh, don't lose the position. And then Alonso slides in and manages to gain a position on us there without um, realizing I wasn't really focusing behind me. And then Alonso slides in and manages to gain a position there. But now going through the final DRS zone of lap 14, I have quite a bit of battery, so maybe trying to use a bit of it to try and get a run on Leclerc. As we go free wide, I try and uh, break a bit earlier so we don't make any contact, but I do make contact with the rear of Charles Leclerc. I think Alonso may be going quite wide. They're taking a lot of that apex. But we do come out still at the back of this free freeway battle. Alonso, I think, getting past Charles there as you go free wide there, which probably wasn't the best idea, so I did back out. But now, towards the end of this lap, they're still going side by side. Maybe I can get a run. And so Alonso breaks quite early there. I don't think, he, you know, it shouldn't really be breaking there, but he does break as he's going side by side. But I do manage to get the DRS using a bit of my battery. I do overtake Alonso now, just Leclerc on this last lap. All he needs to do is pass Charles Leclerc. I do get that P3 first race, and I get a podium with the DRS using my battery. Maybe trying to send it down the inside here of Charles Leclerc. He stays with me as we go side by side. I do just get ahead and he does back off. So I do manage to move up into P3. At the end of the lap here now, Charles Leclerc quite close to the rear of me. Sergio Perez actually wins. But we do come home for a beautiful P3. Yeah, fine. Uh, good job. Well done. P3 really being a good result here for our first race. Obviously, the two Red Bulls ahead of us there. We do get drive of the day as well. But um, the two Red Bulls ahead, so we're definitely going to be fighting them for the constructors and also the drivers. But fair enough to Sergio Perez for being able to hold off Max Verstappen. But a great P3 for us. Definitely uh, deserved, I would say, but definitely going to help us towards the Drivers' Championship. Maybe we can even win it in the first season. If so, then I'll do like a Charles Leclerc career of Road to the World Drivers' Championship. But um, yeah, first race went quite well. Looking at the rest of the grid here though, Oscar Piastri going from P7 to P5. We also got the fastest lap as well, which is an extra point, which is quite handy. But yeah, Oscar Piastri having a great race as well. He moves up, but we do obviously move down, but still not too bad as, as the drivers is obviously the same as the race, but we are second in the constructors uh, behind by 17 points of Ferrari behind us in that. But apart from that, that is the end of this first career mode video. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.